I wanted to create a style of art that allowed me to combine my love of painting, drawing, photography, sculpture, and design into one cohesive piece. And the mosaics allow me to do that. Hi, I'm Kevin Champany, and I'm a mosaic artist, and I'd like to invite you into my world. I taught myself how to do perspective when I was a child. I taught myself how to draw and how to sort of even how to sculpt and design into one cohesive piece that is finished and completed when the viewer subscribes a meaning to it. I actually hand sculpt, then I make silicone molds, and then I cast everything in color. That way, the individual pieces become the canvas, and it, it allows the viewer to interact with the artwork. Because you have to walk away from the piece to see what the image is, but then you have to walk towards it to see what it's made out of. The first mosaic that I created was a self-portrait and I made it out of fish. So I started learning the process of mold and casting from two little fish sculptures that I made. I had this bucket of fish by the end of the whole process and I was trying different materials, different cure cycles and all of this, and I ended up with all these different color fish. And, and the mosaic work allows me to think of images and objects in a different way. To see a flower and then to think that I can make that flower out of something else or change it in a way that it confuses or changes or alters the idea of painting. That's sort of what drives me every day because I, I sort of see things in parts and pieces and negative space because I'm seeing it broken down already. When I start making the pieces, I already know what could make it and what it could be made out of. So the items that I use, it really all depends on the piece and sometimes it just comes to me as an idea. When I was working on what remains, the large scale skull done in flowers, really was just this idea about life and death and the cyclical nature of it and what could I best use to illustrate that. Everything can be repurposed to be something else. And I'll see candy and go, oh, that's really sweet, you know, and then I think of flowers and those are sweet too, and put them together. It's just, it's something I just love to do. There isn't a day that I don't work. The problem that I have is that I have a running list of things that I want to do. I could live a thousand lifetimes and not create all the work that I want to make. That is the burden that I deal with. Art is something that I've always had to do. I started drawing before I could talk and it's just been a passion, a drive. It is what I see and do every day. It is part of me. 